Welcome back, guys, to Super Auto Pets with me, Massive Dynamic. We are back into the weekly once again. It is Wednesday morning. And yesterday, when we were playing, hold on, we're going to roll the intro in just a second. After we become the Flying Planets, let's roll the intro. Anyway, yesterday when we were recording, toward the end of our session, I noticed that one of the teams had a mole with beluga sturgeon, and I thought that looked like a lot of fun to try. So today, that's what we go for. So this is, I usually don't go into a, an episode looking for anything in particular, but this is something different today uh, in that I was looking for that combination. I wanted to see if I could get that to work. So we go on in and we're just looking for pets that we can upgrade and basically survive so that we have a chance to get the build that we're looking for. So we get our first win and our first draw right off the bat. And then uh, we combine our mosquitoes and we decide to get rid of the chinchilla at least down to um, the skeletal version i guess i don't know what you call that secondary version of the chinchilla but we do get the beluga sturgeon which is along the path that we are seeking to navigate so i go ahead and throw a bacon on there since it's going to be sticking around a while if things go to plan so we go up against the holy lizards and we get oh we just missed that it was close so we're down to four hearts and go ahead and combine since we have another chinchilla and the chinchilla is good because you can sell it obviously and get a second chance at a roll so we're rolling here looking for another upgrade and we get the pug and that was the best we could do there so we take it and the pug actually works out pretty well with this build as we'll find out so we go up against the jiggly knights and we get a nice win there so that's two for us always good all right now the hatching chick comes along and i do like the hatching chick especially if we can get it to level two so that's our goal now is to grab beluga and hatching chick and see if we can't start putting some stats on the pets that we're going to keep and so i'm not sure exactly what pet we're keeping but it doesn't matter right now uh, other than the blue sturgeon, because the hatching chick is only at level one, so any stats that we do gain are temporary. So we get a draw. There's our beluga. And now, let's see what we can get. There's our le uh, level two hatching chick, which is perfect. And there's two moles in the shop. Fantastic. So now the plan is um, to put all the stats onto the mole and the beluga sturgeon. Of course, I don't know why I didn't move the hatching chick there and put it on the blue sturgeon right then, but that doesn't matter. We got our loss anyway, despite our best efforts. Uh, but now I don't know why. I, you should have heard me screaming at myself for selling the hatching chick. I meant to sell the pug and keep the hatching chick for the stats, but once I did it, it was too late, so then I go back to the pug. Fortunately, we get a moose in the shop. And I decide, well, since I blew it with the hatching chick, we'll go with the moose. So it's working out right now because of the pug um, with the uh, beluga surgeon. It makes it, it makes the beluga surgeon level two. Um, and that gets us our two our two dolphins, which makes the, the mole work better anyway. So now that our Beluga Sturgeon is at level two all by itself, we don't need the pug anymore. So we go with the skunk here because the skunk is always a good choice, I think. Uh, so now we're just stacking the, the, hopefully we'll do it right this time and not, not blow it here. Uh, but we're saving the level one pets in the shop for the moose to work and uh, we're just trying to just trying to stat up now so that we can get our combo to work and it does and yep there's our second mole so this is good if we can get the mole to level two uh, then we'll have a pretty decent size army coming in because we'll have our five pets plus we get two more with the 
Uh, but when the beluga dies, we get two extra dolphins. And then when the mole dies, we get an extra mole. So, so that's five, seven, that's eight pets uh, all together. So that works out pretty well. And including the second mole, which is bigger than the first. So, yeah, we're starting to rack up the wins now. So we're up to a big total of four wins. And things are working out according to plan. And there's Hatching Chick in the shop again. And I just, every time the Hatching Chick came up, I had a little a little bit of a cry. Um, fortunately, I wasn't recording at the time. So you don't do to hear me whimper like a, like a baby girl. But um, I survived. And we get a full shop of Tier 1 pets, which is fantastic. And I don't know why they all dumped onto the Beluga Sturgeon. I thought that was unusual. But I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, but I did think it was unusual. It worked out in the end anyway, because we didn't get our win. Yeah. So, maybe it would have went better had we gotten a better stat distribution. I don't know. We'll never know. Then there's another hatching chick, another tier. And we get our beluga sturgeon up to level two. It would be nice to get a level three, if that's possible. I don't know why. Oh, I passed the chocolate up because I didn't have the money. And with the moose in there, you can't save your shops. I mean, I well, it is possible to save your shops, but not if you have level one pets in there. Tier one pets. I get tier and level mixed up in my head all the time. But you know what I mean. Anyway, we get our fifth win. And then we roll on into two more tier one pets. And we're looking for, yes, the pepper I think is gonna be a good idea. And some pancakes is nice. Why not put it on our stat builder? Even if they're temporary stats, they're good stats. So that was a better hit there with uh, some on the bug and some on the, the mole. A little bit better. And then the pancakes help, I think, along with a final. Yes, there we go. And there's our 12 12 mold coming out. So, so far, things are going exactly according to plan. Here's our level 2 skunk. So, level 3 skunk, level 3 beluga sturgeon would be great. There's our level 2 moose, which is going to help. And more pancakes. Hopefully, we can get those put on somebody. Yep on the pug perfect so then we'll throw out some temporary stats which i think it's eight eight altogether with the two pancakes if i'm not mistaken uh, no it's four four with the two pancakes uh, plus the 12 12 mole and the extra dolphins all right so that's uh what is that seven wins and now we're looking for, why not throw an orange out there for some extra health. And another chili pepper on the beluga sturgeon is always helpful. And I debated the mushroom. And I'm oh, sorry to miss that skunk there. And might as well go because we can't save anything anyway. So there's no sense spending that last gold on a roll for no, no benefit. And so we go back into... Subtle Warriors, and we have two parts left, and we're able to get our eighth win, which is great. So on we go, back to the shop, looking for our next purchase. More orange. Gets our pug up to 44, and there's uh, some extra attack. And we roll right through the shop. And pass two skunks and only get two level one pet, tier one pets, which is unfortunate. I would have rather bought the skunk than get only two tier one pets, but that's the way that goes. Now we're up against the clumsy bagpipes here, and they've got a pretty good squad with a lot of spawners. But we're able to even get past the boar, and we end up winning. So that is our ninth win. We still have two hearts left. So we're feeling pretty good about this. Although if we meet another team like that, uh, it's only gonna be bigger. So we're hoping that we have enough. And if we can grab a few more stats, that would be great. Finally get all of our, our shop full. We grab a chocolate for the skunk. And why not roll just in case? I don't know why I rolled there, there's no point in it, but 
And and then I thought that the moose was not supposed to pile onto the the pug once it reaches 50, but I guess because it's not all the way up to 50, 50, I guess it doesn't recognize that it doesn't need more health. Because the moose does give only health. You'd see, you'd think that it would bypass the uh, the pet that already had the 50 on it, but we ended up getting our 10th win. So there it is for today, guys. 10 trophies a day. That's our goal every day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.